The only thing we're going to need here today is maybe, maybe a yoga block, maybe, and a yoga strap, any type of strap you may have, maybe. Now, this session today, I didn't write any class notes. We are simply going to freestyle in this class and go by the energies of the universe to see what develops during this session. This is going to be a guided mindfulness yoga flow. And in this session, we are going to simply just work on the poses and take notice of how we feel in our body with each pose. And maybe we might even do a couple of alternative poses in each pose, simply seeing how our bodies feel when we shift our bodies from one position to another in the same pose. So it's seven o'clock on the dot. Maybe you can grab your water if you may need some. All the lights if you feel that it's good for you. And maybe grab your, low, your yoga block and your yoga strap if you feel you may need it. And once we gather our supplies, maybe find ourselves in a cow face. Noticing how we feel in this position with our hands touching our feet, applying pressure, gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are relaxed down away from our ears. Our tummies, our core is nice and tight. As we sit and take notice of how we feel right here, right now, in this present moment. As our feet, as our hands touch our feet, maybe we can apply nice soft pressure to our toes. Maybe to the balls of our foot, of our feet, or the heels of our feet. Simply being aware of how that feels as we self-soothe with a gentle touch of our hands onto our feet. As we breathe in deeply, exhale. With our eyes still gaze softly, noticing how that exhale felt in our body, in our mind. Maybe we notice how we feel in our tummy, in our gut. Simply being aware. As our minds are feeling nice and relaxed, our bodies are feeling nice and relaxed. May we continue to sit in this cow face for five natural breaths, simply going inward, checking in, and being aware without judgment. Three more breaths. As we breathe our palms at heart center, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, noticing how that feels within the body. Shoulders are still relaxed down away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our bodies are relaxed as we become centered here in this present moment. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe in through our nose, exhale through the mouth, noticing how that feels in the mind and in the body. 
as we allow our palms to come above our head in our seated salute. Fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Spinal cords are nice and long. Chin slightly up, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale the prayer, bringing our palms back at heart center. As we flow back up to our seated salute, palms in the air, feeling that stretch. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, right hand come, comes off to the side, left hand goes over that head. Core is nice and tight as we sit and relax in this side bend. Eyes are softly gazed down or closed. Shoulder, our right shoulder is relaxed downward towards the earth. Our bodies are completely relaxed. May we take note of how we feel in this present moment, in this pose. Three more breaths. As we exhale to center, both palms are in the air, nice and long, feeling that stretch. As we allow our bodies to lean to the left, feeling that side bend. Left hand is on the floor, right arm goes over that head. Tummy is nice and tight, allowing our left shoulder to relax downward towards the earth. Completely feeling that side bend. Noticing how we feel in this moment. Being aware without judgment. Three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, both palms are on the earth. Palms are face down next to our buttocks as we feel the energies of our environment. Checking in, noticing what's going on, noticing what's going on around us, simply being aware. Only letting in the sounds that are soothing for us at this present moment. Check in. Listening to what the energies are telling us. We are aware. May we take note of the thought, of the feeling that comes to mind without judgment. Three more breaths. As we breathe our palms back at heart center, checking in. As we allow our feet to flow into a bound position and out, yes, and our butterfly, our feet are closer to our body and our diamond, our feet are further away. Taking note of how each pose feels. Maybe we can start off in the butterfly with our feet closer towards our body. Noticing how we can feel that in our inner thighs. Relaxing our bodies, maybe trying to relax our legs downward towards the earth. Simply being aware, how does this feel in this moment? Two more breaths. As we allow our feet to flow into our diamond, bringing our feet slightly further away from our body. Noticing how this pose feels in our body. Simply being aware. We're gonna hold this pose, two more breaths. And maybe in our diamond, we can hinge at our hips. Coming into that diamond forward fold, allowing our torso to relax downward towards the earth. Going as deep as our bodies allow us to go. Taking natural breaths. Allowing a breath to soothe. Noticing with each breath, our torso goes closer towards the earth. We're gonna hang out here for four breaths, simply checking in and being aware. Two more breaths.
as we slowly push our bodies up out of that diamond forward fold. And maybe we can bring our feet back in closer towards our body, coming back into that butterfly. Noticing how this is a little bit more deeper in our hips. And maybe one more time, we can hinge at our hips coming into that butterfly forward fold. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. Eyes gaze down, natural breaths. Allowing our bodies to fall down as deep as we comfortably can. Being aware of how we feel in our body. Four more breaths. Our head is falling forward. Our shoulders are falling forward. Our eyes are gazed down. We are completely relaxed here in our butterfly forward fold. We're gonna do a bonus and hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly come out of that butterfly, relaxing our bodies, slowing our legs into our staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Checking in with our bodies. As we breathe in deeply, bringing our palms above our head and our salute. Palms are up, reaching towards the heavens. Spinal cord is nice and long, chin slightly up. Feeling that stretch, breathe in deeply. Exhale, palms at heart center. As we hinge at our hips, coming into that seated forward fold. Allowing our hands to reach down to the lower parts of our legs or reaching down to the bottoms of our feet. As our torso relax over our thighs, eyes are gazed down. We're gonna hang out here, five breaths. Three more breaths, checking in and noticing how our bodies feel in this body stretch. You may feel it behind your hamstrings, behind your legs. As our bodies stretch fully, may we be aware of how we are feeling. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. As we exhale to half seated forward fold, chin slightly up, noticing how this feels in our bodies. As we exhale to that staff pose, relaxing the body. And maybe we can come on into a boat pose, lifting our feet up into our hands, knees come towards our chest. Now we are working our abdominal muscles here. Reaching down, bringing our hands towards our feet, noticing how this feels as we straighten out that left foot towards the side like a V, we are continuing to work on our hamstrings and opening up our hips here. Noticing how we feel as our bodies are balancing here and our tummies are nice and tight. We are having control of our core. Our back is not sunken. Our back is nice and long. With the long back, our bodies are likely to not fall over in this pose. If all feels well, may we bring our right leg out towards the side, feeling this boat pose variation, noticing how this feels in our hamstrings. A lot of people also call this bear pose. And maybe we can allow our legs to come out in a nice wide V if we're able, noticing how that feels. Or maybe we can bring our legs inward towards the center, noticing how that feels in the body. Simply being aware as we play around with both of these variations, moving our body as slow or as fast as we choose, as we keep our balance here, and as we work on controlling our core muscles. We're gonna hang out here for five more breaths. Three 
three more breaths. Bringing our legs inward as we come down and come into that normal boat pose. We can have our legs parallel with our hands. We can even cross our feet at our ankles if that feels good. Noticing how each of these poses feel. And if you choose, you can actually straighten that legs, those legs up straight in the air, like a sailboat. Whatever feels good for you, we are gonna be aware of how each boat pose feels in our mind and in our body. We're gonna notice, maybe we'll notice how our bodies are balancing here. How our core is working so hard to keep our bodies up. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale, coming back into our butterfly pose, bounding our feet together, we are back in our butterfly as we do a couple of seated cat cows, allowing our, holding on to the bottom parts of our feet or our ankles, allowing our chest to come up, our chin comes slightly up, we are in our cow. Noticing how this feels in our back, allowing our chest to come up, chin comes up, Noticing how this feels, this is a slight back bend here. Exhale into our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle, our spinal cord goes to the back of the room, our core muscles are nice and tight. As we do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath, being aware of how the movement feels with that. Two more breaths. as we find our pause, and we're gonna find our way onto our hands and our knees coming into a tabletop position. And once again, we're gonna work on our cat cow in a different position, in a different position, noticing how our bodies feel in our cat cow in a seated pose and from a tabletop position. So may we, with our knees hip distance apart and our bodies are nice and balanced, maybe drop down to that cow. Our back is sunk and tummy comes downward towards the earth. Chin comes slightly up, we are in our cow as we flow to our cat. Tummies are nice and tucked. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Chin comes towards the clavicle. As we do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath, noticing how we feel in our bodies. Three more breaths. <sighs> As we find our pause at center, we're gonna flow into a sunbird pose here, allowing our right leg to go towards the back nice and high. Bodies are nice and long. Noticing how we feel when our shoulders and our elbows are kind of sunken. If this feels good for you, go on ahead and do your sunbird in this pose. But if we can just give it a try and straighten out our elbows, noticing how this feels in the body, we're simply being aware of the difference of the two positions. May we also lower our toes downward towards the earth. Noticing how this feels in our body. Tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna hold this pose two breaths, simply being aware. As we exhale that foot back up off the earth, if we choose, and we're gonna come into a full sunbird pose here by allowing our left arm to come forward. Our bodies, our head is looking forward. We are building strength. We are building our balance here. As we gaze forward with our core nice and tight, we are going to check in with our minds and our bodies and notice how we feel at this present moment. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Body's getting nice and warm here. Exhale to table. Taking a breath as we drop down to cow. Relaxing the body here as we flow to our cat and find our way back at table as we sunburn opposite side, bringing our left leg to the back nice and high, noticing how this feels, gazing forward as we collect our balance here. Core is nice and tight. Noticing how our arms feel when our bodies are slightly sunken or when our elbows are nice and straight. 
simply being aware, simply noticing the difference between the two. And if this feels well and our body still balanced, may we extend that right on forward. We are now in our full sunbird pose as we gaze forward. Core is nice and tight. We're gonna hold this pose and build strength. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Noticing how we feel. Exhale back to table, dropping the body, coming down to a cow. Exhale to that cat as we flow back to table. And we're gonna come back to that sunbird pose on the same side one more time, bringing that left leg back to the back, bringing that right arm forward because we forgot to lower that left leg downward towards the earth and notice how that feels in the body with our left toes lowered down towards the earth. Being aware of how this feels, noticing that each side of our bodies feel different when we do the same pose. With our left toes downward towards the earth, two more breaths. As we now lift our leg back up in the air, we are back in that bird pose. Hanging out here, two more breaths. <sighs> As we find our bodies back into our tabletop now, and we're going to drop down to our cow. Flow into our cat. As we come down to a child's pose or a puppy pose, just for a second, bringing our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. We're going to extend our arms in front of us. We are in an extended child's pose or puppy pose. With our arms forward, our heart chakra is touching the earth. With our eyes gazed down or closed, maybe we can check in, being aware of our present moment. Allowing our shoulders to melt forward and to the yoga mat. Allowing our minds and bodies to feel completely relaxed here in this pose. May we hang out here for six natural breaths, being aware of this present moment. Three more breaths. Using our fingers to walk our arms forward, we're gonna um, we're gonna stay in this child's pose and puppy pose. We're just simply walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling a stretch here in our bodies. Maybe we can rock our body from side to side in our child's pose or puppy pose, noticing how this feels in our inner thighs. Or we can stay still, whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the floor, on the earth, we're gonna push our body forward. We're gonna do a couple of spinal waves. Pushing our body forward, using our hands to push our bodies back. Waving our spinal cord, warming up our spinal cord, noticing how this feels in our body. We can go as slow or as fast as we choose. We can even wiggle our torso, I'm sorry, wiggle our hips, noticing how that feels. We are simply, we're, we're loosening up our bodies here. We are feeling one with the movement. We can even do circular motions with our heads simply wiggling our entire body. We're gonna hang out here and we're gonna play in our spinal wave, doing anything you choose for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our last breath. As we find pause at our table, 
knees are slightly wider than hip distance apart, and we're gonna flow into a thread the needle on the right side first. Bringing that right arm off to the side or up in the air, whatever you choose. As we thread that right arm through our left arm, our heart chakra comes back downwards towards the earth. Our eyes are gazed down. Our shoulders are melted forward into the yoga mat. We are in our thread the needle. And maybe we can go deeper in this pose by wrapping our left arm around our backs. Noticing how this feels. Allowing our minds and bodies to completely relax here in this pose. Completely falling forward. Two more breaths hanging out here. And if our arm is wrapped around our back, staying in our thread the needle, maybe we can unwrap that arm and extend that arm over our head. Noticing how with um, flat on the earth, maybe take a moment to look up and see what I'm doing. Extending that arm over the head. Yes, noticing the difference between how the thread the needle feels with the arm wrapped around the back and with the arm over your head on the earth. Simply being aware of the, of the two different options. And again, we don't have to wrap or lift out ones. We can just be in a regular thread and needle, but simply being aware. The point of this session is awareness of how we feel in our poses and the different variations that we can do. May we flow into any thread and needle that feels good for us at this moment. And we're gonna hang out in our thread and needle of choice of five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap our arms, unthreading that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. And we're gonna drop down to our cow and exhale to our cat. As we flow back to table, and we're gonna thread that needle opposite side, left arm is gonna come out to the side if we choose before we thread that arm through our right. Heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Eyes gaze down low. Shoulder blades fall forward into the yoga mat allowing our minds and bodies to completely relax here. Natural breaths. And if we wanna go deeper, maybe we can wrap that arm around our backs, noticing how this feels in our body. And if we choose, Maybe we can extend that arm over our head and noticing how this feels in our thread and needle. As we notice the difference between the two, maybe hang out in this one for two more breaths. And now may we flow into any thread and needle of choice that feels best for us. And we're gonna hang out in our thread and needle for five natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, and we're gonna unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in a um, table position. Noticing how we feel. As we come down to our forearms with our buttocks in the air, 
We're gonna push our bodies up coming into that dolphin pose. Gazing back at our feet. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. Maybe we can walk our feet closer towards our torsos. Noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. Maybe we can take a moment to notice where we feel the most pressure at in our bodies. This dolphin pose prepares us for headstand. And at this moment, maybe we can take some time to notice where we are feeling and what we are feeling in our bodies. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Two more breaths, ensuring our core muscles are nice and tight. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose, relaxing the body. Arms are extended in front of us in our child's pose, or we can wrap our arms towards our feet in our child's pose. Or we can bring our palms at prayer hands above our head in our child's pose. Noticing the difference of, noticing the difference between the three different child's poses we just did with our hands extended in front of us or with our hands at the backs of our feet, or with our hands and prayer hands above our head. We're gonna do a couple of bonus breaths here in this child's pose, taking notice of how we feel with the variations of different child's poses. Three more breaths. As we extend our arms in front of us, if, we, if they were not extended, we are now in our extended child's pose. As we walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch. Rocking our bodies from side to side, loosening up our hips a little bit more. As we find our pause, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies for three breaths, and then find our bodies in our tabletop. One more breath. As we find pause in our table, we're gonna push our bodies up to that first down dog. Gazing back at our feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, noticing how that feels in our body. Hanging out here for a couple more breaths, ensuring that our tummies are not hanging down. We wanna have control of that core. Tummy muscles are nice and tight. Maybe we can pedal our feet and walk our dog, noticing how this feels. As we continue to gaze back at our feet, keeping our core nice and tight, building strength. As we come into that high plank, shifting our body slightly forward, applying more pressure on our forearms, our tummies are nice and tight, noticing how we feel in this high plank. We're gonna hang out here three breaths, building strength now. As we drop down to our forearms, coming on to our low plank, noticing how we feel here in our low plank. We're gonna hang out here three more breaths. Core muscles are nice and tight. As we drop down to our thighs, coming into that Spanx pose. This is a slight back bend. We are in our Spanx, we are on our tummies. Our shoulders are away from our ears. Our backs are slightly bent, chin slightly up. Noticing where we feel and how we feel in our bodies. Maybe you notice your lower parts of your back is being worked here, maybe. Three more breaths. As we bring our palms next to our chest, we're gonna push our bodies up to our cobra or our baby cobra, whatever feels good for you. Noticing the difference between a cobra and a baby cobra. Two more breaths. As we come up to our up dog, coming off of our thighs, we are now in our up dog. Noticing the difference between a cobra and the up dog. And taking note of how we feel in our body and the two different poses. 
We're gonna hang out here and build strength. Three more breaths. Flowing from my up dog, we're gonna come into a down dog. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch nice and deep. As we come into a complete forward fold, Hanging out here in this forward fold, our torsos are relaxed over our body. Maybe our eyes are closed or gazed down. Noticing how this feels. Do the forward fold regulate our heartbeat? Is it relaxing our body temperature, pulling us off a little bit? Simply being aware of what the forward fold does to your mind and body. Where do we feel the pressures at? Where do we feel the stretches at in our forward fold? How does that make us feel? And maybe we can yogi walk our feet slightly apart and come into a rag doll. Noticing how the rag doll feels in our body. Do the rag doll allows us to stretch even more? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. And how does our body feel when we sway from side to side in our rag doll? As we take natural breaths in our sway, how does that feel? Is it relaxing and soothing? Is it regulating our heart? Is it regulating our breath? Is it cooling our bodies off? We're gonna hang out here four more breaths, doing either a rag doll or a feet forward fold. Mind and body's completely relaxed here. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we are in our complete forward fold. We'll be walking our feet back together as we flow to that half forward fold. Chest is slightly up, noticing how this feels. Exhaling back down to that complete forward fold. Exhale, half forward fold. As we come to our Tadasana, palms are at our sides. As we come onto the balls of our feet, coming slightly up, we are on our tippy toes or the balls of our feet. Noticing how this feels, it is working the lower parts of our body. It's also allowing us to keep our balance here. As we extend our arms above our heads, we are in our standing stretch here. So we are stretching our bodies. We are on the balls of our feet and our, our arms, our fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling. We are feeling this standing stretch. Our spinal cord gets nice and long. Our shoulders reach up towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch. Feeling our shoulders reach up towards our ears. At any time, we, we can come flat down on our feet if that feels good. As we exhale, we are now flat on our feet. Maybe we can interlace our hands together above our heads. Fingers are, inter are interlaced. As our chest comes forward and our arms reach towards the back, feeling that back bend. Feeling the standing stretch in this pose, noticing how it feels in our bodies and in our backs. If you choose, maybe you can allow your head to fall between your shoulder blades. As we slowly come back up to our standing salute or our standing extended mountain, whatever you feel, as we breathe, as we breathe to our standing prayer, bringing our palms at heart center, relaxing our shoulders down, tummies nice and tight. Feeling our core get nice and strong as we bend our knees coming into a chair pose. We are now working the lower parts of our bodies. We are in our chair pose. And maybe our palms are at prayer hands or maybe our palms are extended in front of us. May we take note of how it feels with our arms extended in the air. And may we take note of how it feels with our palms at heart center. 
being aware of the two different options here. Two more breaths. If our arms are extended in front of us, maybe come to our prayer hand. As we prayer twist to the right side, noticing how this twist feels in our body. Exhale back to center. As we prayer twist opposite side. Exhale and back to center. Two breaths, build the strength in our legs. Exhale, forward fold. Noticing how this forward fold is a counter stretch to the pose we just did. It is relaxing and soothing our legs behind our knees. We're gonna hang out here, maybe flowing into ragdoll, maybe swaying from side to side. Whatever you feel as though you need in this moment. Five breaths. Three more breaths. And maybe we can find our pause at center and come into a wide legged forward fold. Extending our legs, bringing our legs apart, spreading them apart when you're in our wide legged with our palms touching down, reaching down to the earth or touching the earth, allowing our head to fall completely down. We are in our wide legged forward fold. Noticing how this feels in our body. Noticing how it conditions and relaxes our legs from being in that chair pose. And maybe we can sway our bodies from side to side, keeping our legs straight, simply swaying our bodies, maybe swiping our hands on the yoga mat. Noticing how that feels. Our heads are completely relaxed down. Our torsos are completely relaxed here. As we rip, sway and rock our bodies, Noticing how we feel it in our hamstrings. Noticing what the sway in the movement does to your mind and body. Is it relaxing and soothing? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. As we find pause at center, we're gonna take our left hand and place our left hand on our right foot. Feeling that stretch? We're gonna take our right hand and wrap it around our back. And we're gonna softly gaze over that right shoulder. Gazing over that shoulder nice and deep, feeling that stretch. So we have our left hand to our right foot. We have our right hand wrapped around our back and we are gazing over that right shoulder. Nice and deep, noticing how this feels in our body. Hanging out here, three more breaths. This pose is a goddess twist variation. Two more breaths. Coming out of that pose, coming back to center. As we now take our right hand and place our right hand on our left foot. Taking our left hand and wrapping that hand around our back. As we gaze over that left shoulder. Gazing nice and deep. You may even feel your spinal cord cracking when we do this pose. Noticing how this feels in our body. This twist is a goddess pose twist variation. We're going to hang out here. Three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, allowing our palms to touch the earth. Maybe we can sway our body from side to side, allowing our head to completely relax over. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center with our feet pointing opposite direction in, in a V, we're gonna come into a goddess pose. Simply bending our knees, we are now in our goddess pose. We are working on building strength here in our legs, noticing how this feels. Maybe we can place both of our hands on our laps, right above our knees, noticing how this feels. As we twist our body, our right shoulder comes towards our left leg, twisting our bodies as our head leans, twist towards the left. This is the goddess twist. The twist we just did was a goddess twist variation. This is actually the goddess twist. Coming to center, twisting our body opposite direction. Right arm comes towards that, I'm sorry, left arm comes towards that right leg as we gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our goddess twist. Coming back to center, twisting back opposite direction, feeling the flow. 
Exhale back to center. Twist in opposite direction. Flowing out of that goddess twist, bring coming back to the goddess arms. Noticing how we are working our thighs, our quads. Feeling a burn maybe. Two more breaths. Tummy, our core is nice and tight. As we exhale to star, straightening our legs, palms come off to the sides. We are in our star pose. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes. The goddess twist, the goddess hands we just did. Two more breaths in our star. Taking this time to notice how we feel at this very moment without judgment. Two more breaths. Exhale and back down to goddess. We are working our thighs here. We're gonna to continue to work the lower parts of our bodies. We're gonna build strength. We are firming and toning our lower parts of our body. here. Goddess hands for cactus arms. Three more breaths. Exhale back up to that star. Relax in the body. Yogi walking our feet together. We are in our standing salute or extended mountain. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, standing crescent move, right side, still in the side bend. Our core is nice and tight. Body's completely relaxed here in the side bend. Exhale to center. As we crescent moon opposite sides, fill in the bend, relax in the body. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center. Breathing our palms at heart center, we are in our standing prayer. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears as we come into our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side, tummy's nice and tight. Maybe we can gaze down or close our eyes. Now on our shoulders to completely relax. Core muscles nice and tight. Chin is relaxed. Facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are back in our standing prayer. Bending our knees, coming back into our chair pose. Noticing how we feel in our chair pose. Maybe our legs are slightly apart. Maybe our legs are together. Whatever feels good for you. We are simply checking in with the different types of chair pose options here. Maybe we have more pressure on the fronts of our feet. Maybe on the balls of our feet. Maybe we have more pressure on the backs of our feet. Noticing how our bodies look slightly different when we apply more pressure to the front, the balls of our feet and when we apply more pressure to the backs of our feet. Noticing how it works our legs and our thighs and the different parts of the legs and the thighs when we have our pressure on the heels of our feet or the front balls of our feet. We are simply being aware of the two different options, though there are many different options. Building strength here in our legs or we are working, building strength in our legs as we work on our awareness. Three more breaths, fill in a burn. We're almost there. Maybe we can do a couple of bonus, extending our arms in front of us. Noticing how we feel with our bodies pushed to the backs of our heels or to the fronts of the balls of our feet. Noticing how it feels in our body and which parts of the, our muscles is working. Two more breaths. We are working our bodies here, feeling the burn, bringing our palms back at heart center. Exhale, forward fold. Relax in the body, taking a nice deep breath. <sighs> Maybe pedaling our feet here in our forward fold. Noticing how that feels. Noticing how that counter stretches what we just did. Maybe we can walk our feet apart and come into that rag doll. Maybe. Maybe we can sway from side to side. We simply want to do whatever feels good for us in this moment to relax and soothe the chair pose we just did. This pose right now is about relaxing soothing and conditioning our bodies. We're gonna hang out here five more breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, 
coming up to that half forward fold, coming back down to that complete forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, coming into a down dog, gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can pedal our feet walking our dog, ensuring that our tummy is not sunken down. We wanna have control of those abdominal muscles there. Two more breaths. As we flow into a three-legged dog, right side, bringing that right leg in the air nice and high, gazing back at that foot. Exhaling right foot to right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Hanging out here in this runner's lunge. Noticing how this feels. Two breaths. As we drop to our back knee, we are in our low lunge. Noticing how we just flow from our runner's lunge to our low lunge with our palms on the earth, noticing how we feel in our bodies as we bring our torso up away from our legs and bring our arms up in the air. Feeling this stretch here, this low lunge stretch, this prepares our body for split. Maybe we can bring our chest slightly more forward, allowing our arms to flow behind our backs, feeling that back bend. Maybe noticing how this feels in our bodies. Three more breaths, low lunge. Exhaling, framing that front leg, framing the front foot. Coming off that knee, we are back in our runner's lunge. Yes, noticing how this feels as we straighten that front leg, flowing into our pyramid. Noticing how each pose flows together. Allowing our torso to relax over that front leg. With our eyes closed and natural breaths, noticing how this soothes and relaxes our bodies. Eyes gaze down, checking in. How do we feel at this very moment? Whatever it may be, without judgment. Two more breaths. As we flow back to that runner's lunge, bending that front leg, we are in our runner's lunge. Breathe in, exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet, pedaling our feet, walking our dog with our core muscles nice and tight. Three more breaths. As we find pause and we're gonna three-legged dog, left side, left legs in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Exhale, left foot, left hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Hanging out here, noticing how this feels as we work the opposite side of our bodies. We may notice one side feels different from the other. As we lower that opposite knee, we are in our low lunge now. We went from runner's lunge to low lunge, noticing how the poses flow with each other. If this feels well, maybe come up into that low lunge, stretch, lifting our arms above our heads, feeling that stretch, preparing our bodies for splits on the opposite side. Interlacing our fingers if we choose. Chest comes forward, arms flow to the back, feeling that stretch. Three more breaths. <sighs> nice deep stretch. As we exhale forward, framing that front leg, relaxing the body, coming off that knee. We are back in our runner's lunge. Just for a second, as we flow to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Torso relaxes over that leg. Noticing how this pyramid soothes the pose we just did. As we take natural breaths, allowing the breath to bring our torso closer towards our thigh. With our eyes closed, we become more aware of this present moment and how we feel. Three more breaths. <sighs> With awareness, we're gonna bend that front knee, coming back into our runner's lunge. Noticing how to, how to pose this flow from one to another. As we breathe in deeply and exhale to that down dog. <clears throat> Gazing back at our feet, pedal on our feet, walking our dog. <clears throat> As we come into a three-legged dog, right side once more, bringing that right leg in the air nice and high. Right foot, right hand, we are back in our runner's lunge. 
just for a second here because we're gonna flow up to that high lunge or warrior one, working our legs. Yes, holding this pose, we are in our warrior one, high lunge. Building strength, noticing how this feels in our bodies. How do we feel? Do we feel like a warrior? <sighs> two more breaths. As we exhale to warrior two, feeling this movement and the difference between the two positions. Noticing how we are working our legs. We have our back hand. We have one hand to the back. Our bodies in the present moment, which is now. Our other hands in the future. We are in our warrior two. Two more breaths. Going back to warrior one or high lunge. Feeling a stretch here as our arms reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale back, warrior two. As we flow to reverse warrior. Yes, breathe into extended side angle or side angle. Extend it or just regular side angle, whatever you choose. Three more breaths. Exhaling, framing that French foot. We are back in our runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Pedal on our feet. Noticing how when we pedal our feet, we are relaxing that right leg. <sighs> Maybe we can find our paws and push our torso towards our thighs, feeling that down dog stretch nice and deep. Coming back forward, pedal on our feet. <sighs> Down dog pedal. As we find our paws, we're gonna keep on flowing, building strength, left legs in the air, three-legged dog opposite side. Bring that left foot to left hand, back in our runner's lunge. Only for a second, cause we're gonna flow on up to that warrior one or high lunge. Feeling the movements here, noticing how one side of our body feels compared to the other. Simply being aware without judgment as we flow to warrior two. Our bodies are nice and warm here. We're gonna keep on moving, we're almost done. Back to warrior one. Two more breaths, building strength. Exhale back, warrior two. As we flow to reverse warrior, Breathing to side angle or extended side angle. Noticing how this feels in our body. Framing that front foot, we are back in our runner's lunge. As we exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Walking our dog here, pedaling our feet. As we find our paws, coming on down to our forearms, we are in our dolphin giving our arms a little rest. Maybe walking our feet closer towards our torso, buttocks comes higher in the air. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose, giving our bodies a little break here. Eyes are gazed down or closed. Our chest, our shoulders fall forward into the yoga mat as we take nice, deep, natural breaths, allowing the breath to calm and soothe and regulate our minds and bodies. Being aware of the breath and aware of the position that we are in right now, aware of how we feel right now without judgment, taking notice. In our child's pose or puppy pose, may we find our relaxation for five more breaths. Noticing how our heart rate is regulating. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths.
staying in our child's pose or puppy pose, maybe coming to an extended with our arms in front of us, walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch here in our child's pose puppy pose. With our eyes still gazed down, we are still in our moment of relaxation. We are simply feeling the stretch. Two more breaths. And maybe we can rock our body from side to side, noticing how this feels in our hips. If we choose, we can stay still if that feels best for us. We are simply being aware and noticing how each movement feels, how each position feels, and what it does to our mind and body. Four more breaths. In our extended child's pose or puppy pose, we're gonna put our hands flat on the earth. We're gonna use our hands to push our torso forward, coming into a couple of spinal waves, using our hands to push our bodies backwards. Spinal waving, noticing how this relaxes and also awakens up our spinal cord. Feeling the movement, going as fast or as slow as we need, maybe even going into circular rotations with our hips. We are awakening. We are warming. We are soothing. Three more breaths. <sighs> as we find our pause, we're gonna bring our legs closer together as we cross our feet behind our backs and find ourselves in a seated position. Only four seconds. <sighs> in that seated position, we're gonna take our right hand, put it behind our backs, Take our left hand, place it on our right knee. We're gonna do that seated twist. Gaze and over that right shoulder. Allowing the twist to relax and soothe our spinal cord. Being aware of how this feels in our body and what it does to our body. Three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, we're gonna flow into a seated twist opposite side, noticing how this feels. Exhaling back to center as we come onto our backs, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest, allowing our backs to melt into the yoga mat. Backs are melted, bodies relaxed, eyes are gazed down. <sighs> Shoulder blades relax backwards. Body's completely relaxed here. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs up in the air, we are in our legs on the wall pose. Noticing how this feels. We have our invisible wall here. Tummy core is nice and tight. Spinal cord is flat to the mat. As we reach down to the lower parts of our legs, the backs of our legs and bring our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Yes, noticing how this feels, nice deep stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, back the legs on the wall. Legs are straight up in the air, shoulders are relaxed back into the yoga mat as we bring our knees towards our torso. Happy baby. Bringing our hands inwards, our legs, connecting our feet. We're gonna relax here in our happy baby. Our bodies feel good. Our body feels relaxed. The floor is relaxing our spinal cord. So maybe we can rock from side to side and notice how that further relaxes our spinal cord. Simply noticing how this feels as we rock from side to side. Finding our paws whenever we feel fit. Playing around with our feet. Maybe Moving our feet towards our head, noticing how that feels, yes. We are gonna freestyle and play around in our happy baby for seven natural breaths. Silent meditation and happy baby, doing what feels good for us, seven breaths.
Four more breaths. Our bodies are completely relaxed here. We are focusing on our self-care here and our happy baby. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs up in the air, we are on our legs on the wall pose. We're gonna stay here for one second. My battery's about to die. So I'm just gonna switch sides. Maybe bringing our knees in towards our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Feels. Two more breaths. Straightening our legs out in front of us, coming into a shavasana, noticing how that feels. Legs are parallel side by side. As we bring our knees back up, knees to chest, hugging our knees into our chest. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, we are in a reclined spinal twist. Right arm goes off to the side. As we gaze over that right shoulder, shoulder blades fall back into the yoga mat. With our eyes gaze down or closed. We're gonna hang out here, five more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. As we allow our knees to fall towards the right, recline spinal twist, opposite side, left leg goes, left arm goes off to the side like a T. As we gaze over that left shoulder, or gaze up towards the heavens, whatever feels good for you. With our eyes closed or gaze down, shoulders relaxing into the yoga mat. We're gonna hang out in our spinal twist, five more breaths. Three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in, crossing our feet at our ankles as we come into a boat pose, working our abdominal muscles here. We are in our boat pose. Once again, with our feet crossed at our ankles, maybe we can come into a parallel with our hands and lower legs parallel. We are working our core. We are also keeping our balance here. We're gonna hang out here for five breaths. And if we want to do a boat pose variation, another option, we can actually try crossing our feet in front of each other, noticing how that feels. Now, we don't have to do this, but if you choose, noticing how we can fill it in our core even more, it also helps us balance our bodies even more. It makes our bodies even warmer because we are doing extra. We're going to do a bonus, four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, relaxing the body. We're gonna flow back onto our backs. So this is another pose I wanna do real quick. We're gonna flow into a bridge pose. We wanna work our gluteus maximus here. With our feet flat on the earth, our knees in the air, the palms of our hands are next to our buttocks. We're gonna lift our buttocks off the air. Up in the air, we are in our bridge pose. Maybe we can walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord, allowing us to come higher up in our bridge. Noticing how when we walk our shoulders towards our spine, our chest comes higher and our buttocks comes higher. And we can feel that gluteus maximus burn here, especially if we do a couple of pulses, slightly lifting our buttocks down, 
but not touching the earth and lifting that buttocks, our hips back up in the air. And we can feel it in our buns, working on rounding and lifting our gluteus maximus. And we don't have to do the pulses. We can stay still, but we want to give it a try just to notice how it feels in our body. And then we'll do what feels best for us. And we're going to hang out here in our bridge for 10 natural breaths. We can do pulses. We can stay still. We can even come to a three-legged bridge. Whatever you choose, we're going to freestyle in our bridge, noticing the difference between the different bridge options. And once again, doing what feels best for you and your practice at this moment. Eight more breaths. Five more breaths. Feeling the burn here. Working at gluteus maximus. If we're doing the pulses, going up nice and high and holding it. Feeling that burn. Feeling our buttocks get nice and round and lifted. Feeling that crunch. Four more breaths. Three more breaths. We're counting nice and slow here because we want to round and lift our gluteus maximus. Feeling that burn. We're going to keep on flowing here in our bridge. <sighs> Two more breaths. Yes, these are the longest breaths possible. We want to hang out here in our bridge pulls a little bit longer. <sighs> okay, we're going to do our bonus here. We're going to do five bridge pulse pauses. Going down halfway towards the earth and coming up nice and high. Feeling that burn. Four more breaths. Three, two, one, holding it up nice and tight, feeling that crunch, holding it, holding it, buns of steel, bonus, two breaths, feeling that hold, exhale, relax in the body, untucking those shoulders, bringing the knees into the chest, hugging the man, breathing deeply, allowing the knees to fall to the left, feeling that spinal twist, relax in the body, right arm goes off to the side, feeling that stretch, Two breaths. <sighs> Exhale back to center, hugging the knees in. Knees fall towards the right. Left arm goes off to the side. Feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees in. Extending the knees, the legs up in the air, legs on the wall post. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Noticing how this is a counter stretch to the bridge pose we just did. Relaxing and soothing our buns. Yes, two more breaths. Exhaling back, legs on the wall pose, allowing our knees to fall down, coming into that happy baby. Reaching down, connecting our feet, bringing our torso towards our, bringing our legs towards our torso or towards the yoga mat, going in nice and deep. Before we flow out of this, happy baby and going to a shavasana. Maybe we can try a shoulder press by lifting our leg higher up on our shoulder. See that there? Noticing if we can do it or not. And then if this feels good, doing the opposite side, lifting that leg over that shoulder. This is called a shoulder press. So the happy baby flows into a shoulder press. And then over time, this shoulder, this shoulder press flows into a pretzel pose. I'm not there yet. <laughs> So simply noticing how the happy baby flows from the happy baby to the shoulder press to the pretzel. And if anyone can get into those poses, maybe you can flow into it, noticing how each pose fills in your mind and your body. <sighs> Hanging out here, two more breaths. Exhaling our legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing our legs in towards our torso, hugging the men, hugging ourselves, thanking ourselves for this practice, 
as we bring our legs parallel side by side, we are in our Shavasana, legs are parallel, the heels of our feet are connecting or touching as we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs, shoulder blades, our back melts into the yoga mat. With our eyes closed or gaze down, we feel at peace, we feel one. Maybe we feel centered, leveled, relaxed, and soothed. Whatever we may feel in this very moment, may it be without judgment. With our eyes closed and our minds and bodies relaxed, may we relax in Shavasana for 10 natural breaths. <sighs> Five more breaths. Two more breaths. As our bodies feel like we are in peace, may we roll onto our side, keeping our eyes closed, coming into a fetal position. Noticing how this feels. Fetal pose. Eyes are still closed or gaze down. Bodies relax. As we use this time to prepare our bodies for seated position, keeping our eyes closed, however, if we choose. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, and maybe we can rotate our ankles. Maybe we can even move our hips around in circles, awakening our bodies, yet keeping our eyes closed Staying in our present moment as we use the down gaze to help us be centered. As we use the down gaze and close eyes to help us be more intuitive and focus on our present moment. As we take our hand and use that palm to push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose. I'm going to come into a power face. May you find any seated pose that feels good for you. Spinal cord is straight, meaning it's nice, it's nice and long. Spinal cord is long. Our core is tight and strong. Our shoulders are relaxed down away from our ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Our mind, our body is relaxed. We are in our zone. We are at peace. We, we allow time to self-care here today. Maybe we can bring up hands and heart center. And if we choose, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, filling our heart center. Gazing downwards. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time to self. For we all know we cannot pour from an empty cup. We cannot do for others if we don't have anything to give. Self-care is an assessment. If we're sick and unable, if we're mentally unhealthy, 
how can we help by helping the best? How can we be a part of Self-care is essential. And I thank you guys for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. I am honored to be with you. It is a blessing to be here with you. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the lights in you. Namaste.